The days are getting warmer here. The air is still biting from time to time, but the hints of spring are there, carried over by the wind. And the evening hours are growing longer and brighter each day, bringing me more energy and inspiration. The tides are falling lower too, revealing many of my favorite finds by the water once again. And bringing a great deal of joy to Hazel and Groom. So for some reason today, I am just feeling not very happy. Probably has something to do with the fact that it is a, another cloudy day um, and I live in a basement and I miss the sun. There have been a few beautiful sunny days recently, but it's just been very dark lately and I am so ready for spring. And so usually when I'm feeling this way where 
it's just around the corner, we're almost there, I can see the signs of spring everywhere, but it's just out of reach. That means it's time for me to make something um, a little cheery uh, with what I gathered last summer. And so I've had these huckleberries waiting in the freezer all winter for this exact purpose, and I figured today is as good as any to make a huckleberry tart. So I'm fully winging it. I wrote a recipe a few minutes ago just kind of guesstimating the uh, amounts of things. I will keep you updated on how that goes and if it shifts or at the end if I think there are some things that I should do differently, but looking forward to it and hopefully it will be just the joy that I need today to make this a bit brighter as I wait for spring. <laughs> Okay, so this is the recipe I will be following. This part I fully winged. We'll see, it might change a little bit throughout. And this is the uh, pie crust that I usually make. It's my tried and true, love it to death, and have worked on it for years. So very happy with this. We'll see how this goes. I kind of based it off of a blueberry tart that I usually make, but I think I might, I, or I did make it a little sweeter. And I may make it sweeter still, just because huckleberries are a bit more tart than blueberries. Also, look how beautiful these are. I got them this morning and they were just all closed like this and they've all begun to open up and it's just such a joy to see them. A sign that spring is here, almost. Okay, so here I have my huckleberries, half a cup of sugar, I'm going to use half of this lemon zest and juice, and then here's some cornstarch to thicken it with some uh, nutmeg, cinnamon, and a pinch of salt, which I forgot to write down over here, so I need to do that before I forget, but that's what's all going to go in the filling. I'll set this up now and then start the crust after that. These are all done and set aside, and now to start on the crust.
Alrighty, there are a few big cracks, but I think it's big enough that that'll be okay and all of this will just be cut off. And with it all rolled out, I've got the oven preheating and now it is time to piece it all together. she is now just to pop her in the oven and uh, see how she turns out and of course the leftovers will be used these egg whites are going to Grim because they are his favorite and I will be using the rest of this crust in probably a breakfast for tomorrow so uh, easy thing to have an excess of I am feeling so much better. I think I just sometimes need to do something that is slow and peaceful and baking is often the answer for me. It's still a pretty dark day here and uh, you know that's the way that it is and there have been a few days of sun, it's coming, I know it'll be here soon uh, and I think I just need to get outside a little bit more. I was out foraging last week or looking for things to forage. It was such a beautiful day. I found a ton of nettles out in the woods and they're all still just starts, or at least they were last week. And I was able to snack on the tops of them. I also found a large patch of cleaver and I'm gonna keep my eye on those guys for the next couple of weeks. but I'm hoping to get back out there tomorrow to uh, see if the nettles are ready to harvest. I don't think they'll be big enough to get all that I want to get, but it'll be a good start. I'm not sure yet what I want to do with them. I think it'll depend on when I get them. I have uh, a toss up between either making them into a soup or drying them to enjoy later in a tea. So we'll see you tomorrow. But first, the tart. The salmon berries are coming in. Right now it's just their beautiful blooms, but soon they'll be full-blown berries. They are among my favorite out here, maybe coming in second or at least next to huckleberries, but uh, 
are so beautiful this time of year and this is a true sign of spring. harvest of nettles. There are a few ladybug stragglers on here, um, but that's okay. I will return them to the woods. But I am looking forward to working with those. I think I'm gonna add them to a soup or dry them. I haven't quite decided yet, but uh, all to be figured out tomorrow. Definitely got a few bites from the plants walking around here barefoot. Perhaps next time I will make a better footwear decision. <laughs> but I've been missing the feel of the earth under my feet a little bit too much for that. Alrighty, so it's been a few days since I picked all of my nettles and they are a little bit wilted, but that's all okay. I think I'm just gonna set them up to dry and uh, save them for maybe some teas in a little bit or rehydrate them and add them to uh, food but for now i need to pick them off the stems and set them in a basket Now just to let these dry. 